So, Ronnie, are you thinking about buying another house? Of course. Okay, good, because I got one for you. Okay. This is Lou Gallagher, real estate agent extraordinaire. Uh, six bedrooms, seven full and four half bathrooms. Listed price, $14,995,000. What's it going to take for you to drive out of here in that home right now? Will you take a check? Of course I'll take a check. Sold. Next on Men Are So Smart. The longtime Los Angeles mansion of legendary musician Glenn Fry, founder and frontman for the iconic band Eagles, owns this luxurious spread, which is on nearly three quarters of an acre in the coveted Brentwood Park neighborhood, was purchased by the Tequila Sunrise singer and his second wife, Cindy, in early 2002 for exactly $10 million. $10 million? From late powerhouse television executive Michael King, who I think was in cahoots with Oprah. Oh. King Productions. Online listings don't indicate the square footage of the tiled roofed villa. Tax records peg it at above 8,800 square feet. I need to be able to move my arms. See, you're too that's, close. I need some room. Yeah, that's a good size house. But do show there are six bedrooms and a total of seven full and four half bathrooms, along with high-end finishes that include hand-plastered walls, dark-stained wide plank hardwood floorboards, and rustic wooden ceiling beams. Sounds amazing. All but invisible from the street, the house sits at the head of a double-gated horseshoe driveway that arcs up to a motor court with side-facing three-car garage, I like it, mm -hmm. and arched carved wood front doors tucked into a shallow porch framed by mature trees and shrubbery. Shrubbery! Shrubbery! A double-height foyer with wrought iron railed staircase leads to a formal living room with oversized fireplace, a separate dining room with a double-wide center island, and onto an informal dining area and family room with built-in media cabinet a stone-faced corner fireplace, and a bank of French doors to the backyard. Wow, man, this this is this is living. An entertainment space in the basement level. This sounds like a man cave to me. Yes, has a bar and a home theater, and there's a second family room on the second floor, along with several guest bedrooms, and a master suite comprised of a bedroom with vaulted ceiling a separate sitting room, that's what I've always wanted, a private terrace and dual closets and bathrooms. Hmm. A tree ringed and park-like grounds offer expansive stone terraces and several fountains, lush lawns and mature rose gardens with a mosaic tiled swimming pool and spa flanked by an open air cabana, a cabana boy. That's what I've always wanted to be. <laughs> Nothing more. Just a cabana boy at Wait. Glenn Fry's place. Your needs are few. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that's for shaded lounging and a guest house fitness room with a bathroom. Thank goodness. Yeah. So over the years, the Fry's have been reported to own homes in Hana, Hawaii, La Quinta, California, Snowmass, Colorado, and New York City. And it appears that Cindy Fry, who pals around with... Kardashian momager, Chris Jenner, plans to keep a solid real estate foothold in Los Angeles where early, earlier this year she shelled out almost $8 million for a 4,000 square foot shingle-sided East Coast style residence at the tail end of a pin drop quiet cul-de-sac in the Bird Street hood above the Sunset Strip. Nice. Life was good to Glenn Fry. Wow. Wow. Nice. Can you even imagine, I mean, if Glenn Fry has this kind of money, how much money Don Henley has? Oh, wow. Because Glenn Fry was talented. I, I think Don Henley is uber talented. Yeah, and I think that he's had a much more successful solo effort yeah. in the years gone by since uh, Eagles. Yeah. Um, those guys, they started... I. They started with Linda Ronstadt palling around with her. Jackson Brown. Jackson Brown was a good friend of theirs and also a, a very good songwriter. Mm -hmm. um, was it Take It Easy that yes. he wrote uh, yeah. the line about 
Winslow, Arizona. Yeah. I think he did. Um, I, you know, I losing Glenn Fry was uh, it was very sad. That was a, that was a shock. He was a, a such a talented guy, and he really was the mastermind behind the Eagles. And you know, it, it's it was so sudden. I think is the part that is. Well, it probably wasn't sudden for him, right. but for fans, it seemed like it happens just all too fast. Uh, much like recently, we lost Tom Petty. Yeah, suddenly, just gone. You know, and he probably had been struggling a little bit with some minor heart irritations that he paid no attention to. You know, he was scheduled to perform here earlier. I think it's That's September, right. mm -hmm. and they had to call off that concert. Uh, because he was ill, but then he went ahead and played. I think later on he did. He, 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 did he that redid show. the concert here. So, whatever issues he was having, uh, obviously, he thought that they were okay, or he he would not have gone on and performed and continued touring. Fifteen million dollars. It seems like it's worth it, though. I've I've looked at some houses in the area here that uh, are a million dollars that don't sound anything like this for 14 times the money. Yeah. I think that's probably, that's what it should cost. You know, our old drummer. Oh boy. Owns a very expensive home in El Dorado Hills. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um, overlooking Folsom Lake. Yeah. How much do you think that house is worth? Boy, we'll put up a picture of when the band played at the drum old drummer's house. Yeah. It's out on like a patio. You'll, you'll see it. I've got a venture that it's probably, that's probably a three plus million dollar house. Yeah, I, I don't know. If I had to guess, I'd probably say a little closer to five. Yeah, I mean, and the backyard is so stunning by itself that there's probably, there's probably a million dollars in the backyard alone so well glenn fry may have had 99 problems but this house wasn't one of them no no nope. <laughs> <laughs> i can only imagine what it must be like to come home from a rough day at work and and have those kind of uh surroundings a cabana <laughs> i can live with that yeah <laughs> you know what you could probably sneak into the house and with all those bedrooms and bathrooms you could probably live there for quite a while before anybody would even discover you. Yeah, especially if you were Timothy B. Schmidt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hope you've enjoyed the program. The Eagles did pretty well for themselves. We love the Eagles. We do. And uh, we miss Glenn Fry. We do. Uh, if you enjoyed the show, hit the like button. Uh, dropping down in just a moment will be the button that allows you to subscribe to our channel. We hope that you will. You can find our links to our social media below, also our emails, and our sponsors. Please support our sponsors. They make this all possible for us. That includes Tracker Rubber Supplies and Capital Mobile Brake Service. All right, that's going to do it. We'll see you next time on Men Are So Smart.